So if you just decided to start modifying your car and you've been searching online, uh, going on forums, you've definitely come across the term FBO or full bolt-ons. And so what really is full bolt-on? Well, that depends on each um, car make or model. In the GTR community, full bolt-on or FBO basically means all the plug and play parts that don't require any engine rebuilds um, or transmission upgrades. So basically on the stock turbo. For GTRs, a uh, full bolt-on would consist of uh, intakes, uh, exhaust, uh, full exhaust uh, downpipes, mid pipes, uh, injectors, uh, flex fuel kit, uh, fuel pumps, and sometimes front mount intercoolers as well. So what really is the difference between a stock GTR and a full bolt-on? So uh, for the 2013-2014, this one right here is a 2014 black edition. Uh, up until the 2015, pretty much the same uh, power levels, uh, same engine VR38 DETT, twin turbo V6, 3.8 liter. Uh, the stock came in 545 brake horsepower, 460 pound foot of torque, and um, boost about 12 to 13 psi. Now, with full bolt ons, also depends on what gas, you can easily get the 700 brake horsepower. Uh, 750 if you are on race fuel or E85 and up to 20 psi so stock turbos would handle 20 psi boost uh, and that's what you would probably get around for an FBO GTR so before getting into the details on what parts I have on my full bolt-on Alpha 7 uh, GTR uh, first I'll actually talk about what parts you actually need to uh, consider when it comes to uh, having to retune the car or not so uh, basically if you have a 2.75 inch intakes mid pipe and an exhaust you don't need any retune everything is fine I think you also won't void your warranty now as long as your boost uh, PSI is about 16 then you're fine no need to retune however if you get an aggressive tune and pushing more than 16 psi then your injectors your stock injectors will definitely max out stock injectors about 570 cc size uh, they'll max out your car will start going on limp mode and you will definitely need to upgrade with bigger now, injectors i'm going to explain what i've done to this car so as i mentioned it's a 2014 the gtr black edition I've got the alpha 7 and bunch of parts I'll go over the engine parts I've done so basically this car was stock and right now it's uh, full bolt-ons it's pushing 603 605 603 wheel horsepower 605 wheel torque so that's 700 horsepower uh, on pump 93 octane and uh, with the e85 it reached 646 wheel horsepower 661 wheel torque which is about 750 give or take uh, brake horsepower. So for the exhaust, I have the Alpha 90 millimeter uh, capless down pipes uh, paired up with the HKS resonated mid pipes. And finally, uh, the HKS Legamax titanium tips. And for the engine part, we start at the bottom here. Uh, this is the Alpha Street front mount intercooler. Stock upper pipes. Um, I have the custom Sakura 3 inch intakes. So, 3 inch intakes would require a tune. Um, and then I have a ASNU 1100cc injector. Over here I have the Visconti Nextview V2 kit. So this allows me to swap between uh, pump gas uh, and E85. I can actually mix both and it will be fine. Over here this comes extra with the kit. So right now I'm not running e any E85. So you can see it's 2% E2. Huh. And then I have the HKS SSQV4 blow up valves. Their vent to atmosphere. I have the bypass plug right there. Do another video covering the blowout valves about uh, vent to atmosphere VTA or recirculated. 
it's a huge debate online on whether having uh, going with an ST tune or speed density kit tune to run Vento Atmosphere. In short, no you don't. You don't need to buy the kit. I'm running Vento Atmosphere, 100% fine, no issues whatsoever. Uh, basically what you have to do or what your tuner has to do is tune the car based on SD. I don't know what that means, I'm not a tuner, but there you go, you don't need to buy the kit. It's called low through map tuning, something like that. This gives you the whistle sound or the flutter sounds you're looking for in a blow up car. Concept Z Performance Hose Kits, these are just temporary over here, they're uh, just for me to see because I'm, I'm planning to change the upper intercooler pipes, um, trying to decide on color, it's giving me an idea, uh, carbon fiber cooling tank cover, these over here are titanium work caps, I have this one as well but I haven't installed it yet because I have to cut, cut, cut it open and then plug it in so I haven't had the time to do that, power steering cap, oil filler. So next um, after uh, deciding on what parts you're going to be getting or what, what your build goal is or if you're going full bolt ons or not, um, you'll be looking into tuning and for uh, I'd suggest to start looking for a tuner, an expert GTR tuner and then ask them what which ACU platform they prefer and for GTRs there there's two, there's COP tuning and then there's ECU tech or EQ tech. Um, I chose Cobb and not because I prefer it over ECU tech but back then they had the access port option instead of having you know the laptop whenever I want to take data log. I just like to keep this you don't really have to have that running all the time it's plugged to the OBD2 port and basically what you do there's a bunch of monitors you can select I like to monitor for example boost level uh, my um, air to fuel ratio, uh, if I have any knock, engine knock, uh, if the car goes on limp mode, I can change that. I can, you know, check any, uh, check engine lights, delete the codes, I can change my tune, you know, if I have more than one tune or if one tune has more than one map, I can also do that over here. So I have a custom tune and I have three maps, uh, low boost, high boost, and then the other the third one which I barely use is for the race fuel or just runs very rich I can actually change that here and if you look look at the boost gauge see now I'm on low boost now I'm on high boost and then that's the third setting race fuel I, I usually run on low boost when I'm driving every day uh, so yeah so I would suggest find the tuner first they would let you know which platform they're more comfortable on using um, there's no advantage over the other they all have the same feature more or less um, Cobb has the rolling boost ECU Tech has that as well pop and bang map which is you know the flames and all of that uh, I think that's more ECU Tech you can still have that in Cobb just have the tuner run the car very rich I don't recommend that it's not good for your turbos not good for your motor just try to avoid that and that's pretty much about it let me know if you have any questions, be happy to help. Thank you for watching.